Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your April 2018 monthly reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We will just see whatever comes up for the month of April. My ring's falling off. That's a good sign. It's funny. I mean, you look at the cards. I mean, contradictions. <laughs> Here we have a commitment, you know, happiness, some sort of gathering, perhaps, you know, contentment next to, you know, some sort of feud. Okay, maybe there's a family feud. Maybe there's some sort of uh, unhappiness around the family. Okay. But we do have a new beginning in love of some sort, emotional support, all right? This is um, a new love, a new emotion. It could be a reconciliation. But this is, you know, some sort of blockage. You know, there's a there's there's some bad luck here. There is some bad luck here with these two cards. And you know, there's something that could cost you some money. You know, I'm not sure what's going on, but maybe you get robbed or you feel like you've been robbed. I'm sorry. I mean, it doesn't look good. Okay? Beware. Just beware. You never know. Somebody could be out and stealing from you. I mean, I'm just letting you know. There's some sort of unhappiness here that is opening your eyes. Okay? Something is opening your eyes. Okay? Oh my gosh, what the hell is this? Yeah, there's sorrow. There's some kind of heartache or sorrow that... Well, in the end, it's going to restore peace and harmony, but in the meantime, it's, it's not going, it's not, it's like I can't, take this next step, and I'm not sure what this is. There is some sort of grief here after a betrayal, okay? There's grief after a betrayal, and that could have been in a, in a commitment, okay? There could be some a split, okay? Because these are mirroring each other. There could be a split. There could be a separation, okay? And it could cost you some money, Somebody could be moving home. You know, and it feels as though at this time you might not be able to accept any love coming in. Maybe you can't accept any love coming in because you're working on yourself. You're working on replenishing the resources within you. You're working on... Uh, shedding your old ways that you're just working on you I'm working on my own awareness I'm working on restoring my power bringing balance and harmony back to your life you may be blocking out love at this time any new love because you're working on yourself 
taking this time to rest and recuperate recuperate from this loss. There's been some sort of financial loss, it looks like to me. And this could have even been a divorce, okay, or a split from a partner. And, you know, now you're working on um, restoring your faith, restoring your awareness, restoring your your resources, you know, your confidence, your self-esteem, your your stability, you know, you're, re you're restoring yourself, okay? That's what I see. It looks like, you know, I'm not sure that I can make a commitment to anybody at this time because I, I'm still getting myself back together, you know? It looks to me like you're not ready to mingle, okay? I'm not ready to mingle and get out there because I'm still recuperating. I'm still recuperating from this hurt, from this loss, from this, from the regrets that I carry around. I'm, I'm still healing. Yeah, you're working on yourself. You're not quite ready yet. That's what this is. You know, it appears that, you know, you're regaining the strength that has been lost because of this let down. There's been some sort of let down and you are now looking at um, building yourself back up. And you're looking at changing your perspective in regards to love. You're trying to figure out what it is you're looking for in love. I don't want to go where I was, so I'm, I'm changing my perspective on love altogether as to what I'm looking for, who I'm looking for, when I'm looking, when I'm ready, you know, the whole nine yards. I feel like you are restoring your inner strength right now. And looking in, you know, at healing. I'm, I'm healing. And you may be feeling unstable financially, like you've lost a lot of money. You know, I've lost my home or something like that. Or, and now I just, I, I, I'm not, I'm not really. Yeah, you're restoring. You're bringing structure back to your life during this time. So that you can have that ultimate wish fulfillment. You are truly looking at, looking at this like a time of hope and inspiration. Right now, I am restoring the balance within me. And it feels as though because you're doing that, you are receiving. I think there's like divine guidance here. Okay, there is. I just, I needed to say that. I feel like there's divine guidance. You're, you're, you're healing. These are both healing cards. You're healing. Okay. You're, you're going through a period of, I think it's like high. I'm healing a high, a high amount of healing. You're going through a period of renewal. After some sort of loss of power or loss of truth, you know, there's been some sort of ungratefulness, okay? Some sort of loss. That's what I see. There's been some sort of loss that you are still working on healing from. And it's inspiring you to make positive changes in every direction of your life. That's what's happening because this is inspiration. It's inspiring you to become stronger. But it's not happening overnight. It's taking some time. You're regaining mental strength. You're working on yourself. You're celebrating you. Because it feels as though your fire had been put out. It had, and now you are, are lacking the confidence and the, and the self-esteem that you need to engage in love at this time. But you are happy with the changes that are going on. I feel as though structure is coming back to your life. Things are starting to fall right into place, and you're feeling really, really, really happy with the changes that are going on. I think you're being objective to the situation. You're taking the lead in regards to your own life. And you're leaving the trouble behind. 
That's what's going on here. You're leaving the trouble behind, and as you, it's not like you want to jump right into anything with anybody. That's what I see. It's like, you know, I'm I'm not moving forward in the name of love at this time because I'm I'm really really working on finding out who I am, what I want, where I'm going, the whole nine yards. And I think you're happy with that right now. I'm happy with the changes that are going on. I'm embracing them. And I feel as though you're not ready to start a new journey or start over with anybody at this time. It's about you. It's about you because this guy is all about him. And this is a man or woman per se in this general reading. Right now it's about me being where I need to be. And I think you are getting very, you're doing a lot of healing. You're getting inspired. You're leaving drama behind. And I think you're relighting that flame within you that has been put out. And I feel as though there's some uh, stubborn, hot-headed energy around you. Whether that's you or somebody that you're dealing with. This could be somebody that you are leaving behind or you're shedding your old stubborn ways. Because this is shedding. The magician is shedding. And we got these two stubborn people right here. And these could be energies. I feel as though right now I think over here some of your dreams have been dashed or they had been dashed and you may have let it get it get you down for a little while and make you unhappy but I think now you it made you it made you stronger it inspired you to change something okay Yeah, I think that you guys are letting go of something that, well, this right here, there's no growth where you were at. There was no growth. There was a lack of excitement. So that's why you had to, you have to block that shit out, right? Yeah, you had to take action. It's like, you know what? I, this, I accept the challenge. I accept this challenge. I'm ready. For my new beginning, for my new security, my new stability, my new abundance, I am ready. I'm ready for my abundance. And right now, that's what I am focusing on. It's like you went through a period of repression and loss of self. And that's why this all needed to happen. And right now, you're still healing from that. And there's no new contract in love until I get to where I need to be. It's time for a transformation. And that is exactly what I am doing this month. I am working on releasing the past I'm stepping I'm moving I am tra transforming into a new me I'm releasing the old you are there's a high awareness here somebody is highly aware of what is going on and they are moving forward and transforming into a whole new person and at this time if you're single there's no new love connection because I'm working on me. I'm putting myself first right now. And for whoever's watching this, and that's what's going on, you are putting yourself first to bring happiness back to your life. And so, no, I don't see that there's any new commitment coming right in because you are disconnecting. I am disconnecting from the world to get to where I need to be. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and you are highly aware of that. And this is what you're doing. You are going through a transformation right now that is getting you ready. It's getting you ready for wish fulfillment. Solitude. These cards, they are they are yours. And that is no joke. I'm just going to even zoom that right in for you. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away. Not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you. And that's what this month is about, soul searching. It's a beautiful place to be. Talk to you later.